My great great grandfather was a slave. Yeah. My great grandfather, my, my grandfather worked on a plantation. I, I have a little bit of both. So my Mexican side of the family, my mother's side, they actually were on their on they stuff and they had people that were up under them. I wouldn't say necessarily slaves, right, right. but they did have people up under them. And then um, on my father's side, they were, uh, they were slaves. So I'm kind of on both sides of it. Like, did you see, um, what's her name? That woman on The View? Wow, I'm, I'm, I'm a little bit in shock. I, I just always thought of myself as Puerto Rican. You know, half Puerto Rican. <laughs> I didn't think I was, uh, my family was originally from Spain and slaveholders. <laughs> <laughs> she just found that she, her whole premise is we deserve reparations and all of this. And she was thinking that she was a uh, Puerto Rican or from somewhere out in, uh, but she came to find out that her people were actual slave owners. Okay. And they moved from Spain to Puerto Rico to, uh, they moved themselves and all of their slaves to Puerto Rico to continue uh, slavery because it was abolished in Spain. And she just figured this out. Now, her whole premise, her whole uh, talking points is we deserve reparations. So my in my mind, I'm thinking, does she now think that she needs to pay some? Because we're asking this of the actual descendants of slave owners. Without having an actual political organization, like on YouTube, there's a lady named Yvette Carnell, uh, there's a man uh, named Tone doing Tone Talks. These are YouTube channels that talk about reparations. It's not a skin color thing. It's a lineage thing. If you can trace back to your great-great-grandfather, great-great-grandmother mm -hmm. that you're an actual slave, and this is where the conversation starts based on actual political activity. All this subjective stuff is very hard to so do. So where would the things. reparations come from? Who's go, who's directly? Who you think should be directly responsible for paying it? Who's paying for Ukraine? I got you. The government. Okay, like like everyone gets money when it comes to giving black people money. We say, well, where's the money gonna come from? The same place you give all, everyone else this money. Yeah, even the doggone uh, the immigrants that they giving it to right now. I say Ukraine very specifically. We gonna get right back to those immigrants because y'all coming over here and y'all claiming to be people of color and the, the actual people of color don't get no benefits from being people of yeah, color. Yeah. That doesn't make any sense. It's they not logical. They changed up the, 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 the definition of people of color. The population of Ukraine is about the exact same as the population of black America, and we gave them billions of dollars. And continue to. And then we look at black people in America in their face and say, you don't deserve nothing. And y'all stand on that. I read the comments. I hear y'all in the real world. Y'all, like, I have no inferiority complex, but you do have a superiority complex when you look at me and think that my pain, my history, my great, my great, great grandfather, my lineage doesn't matter to America. We and, built America. Brother. And in my comments on uh, the Stocker family, people tell me that you weren't a slave. You haven't been through anything and all of those th stuff like that. But when I when I for me, when I say we, I mean, as as people of color, I mean, black people are descendants of Africa. That's what I mean by we. I don't mean me specifically because we all know there's nobody alive right now who was directly affected by. I like to I like to dive like it, because if you go just if you just say slavery, you're talking about 250, 300 years. But if you start with the Civil Rights Act of 1965, then we just ended the apartheid state 60 years, man. Like we lived in actual segregation in the most yeah. powerful nation in the world. And to acknowledge that reality is taboo in America. We support everyone else's group, but everyone. we don't support our group. Yeah. That's because we ain't got no political unity. We're not like we let everyone co-opt our movement and we sit there and we ain't got nothing. Yeah. And that's strategic and that's tactical. And I, I, I love I love black people. I love America. And that creates an interesting duality because does America love me and do black people love me? And it's questionable on both ends. If I don't sit there and agree with either faction wholeheartedly, they look at me like I'm some type of bastard child. Yeah. No, nigga, I'm the son of America. Yeah. <laughs>